Our next guest today has always been one of Emmerdale's most talked about stars. And once again, she's at the centre of one of the soap's most controversial storylines. I hate myself for hurting you like that. And then for carrying on by lying. <laughs> it was messed up, but I never want to get it wrong or to be like that with anyone else ever again. What I needed to hear you say to know that you'll probably get this, Lachlan, and you will never, ever put anybody else through it again, OK? Yeah, please welcome Natalie Anderson. <laughs> How are you? Oh, oh you smell, smell lovely. That's Can lovely. You smell? Oh. Gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> so, so finally, she got what she wanted last night, which is him to actually admit what he's done. Because yeah. he hadn't really confronted it, had he? No, it made me feel a bit emotional yeah. that actually watching that because it brings back a lot of memories of actually filming it. But yeah, for her, I mean, she couldn't move on even after the courts had sentenced him because he didn't say sorry. He kind of was outside the court calling her all kinds of horrible names, and she couldn't kind of just close the door on it and, and think he's learned a lesson from any of this, which is essentially what she thought you know at least some good would have come from it if he was sorry so when we see this scene mm. yeah she finally gets what she wants so when they gave you the script or, or told you about the storyline this is a, a 14 year old boy Lachlan who, mm. who sexually assaults you what do you think Cause you've had some very strong storylines but this is is particularly controversial isn't it and and you have to be very careful in a soap how you approach these things. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I was very shocked when they told me about the storyline. And Kate was brilliant, though, our producer. She was like, you know, what do you think about this? And I just said, you know, well, I'm fully behind it because of the wider topics of the fact that it was more about, you know, how, how did this young boy come to make that decision that that was OK in the first place? Mm -hmm. And something that I felt as a mum really needed talking about, so I was kind of like really, really behind their um, And you mum of, uh, of a young boy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's only little, you know, but he's going to get older, and, you mm. know, where will we be in another 10 years' time mm. in terms of the internet and all that kind of thing? So I was very much kind of behind the show's decision, and so much care was taken with the storyline in terms of research and care with Thomas that plays Lachlan mm. and everything, you know, because mm. it was very difficult for him as well. Yeah. He's only 16, and mm. um, he's done a great job, if I can say that, in terms of portraying this young boy and how confused he think, was as well. Do you think soaps can really change the way people behave? I mean, soaps now, like Emma Day, will tackle these really tough uh, storylines like internet porn and, mm -hmm. and the way that young boys are watching too much of it. Do you think that kids watching the programme will take that on board and will it make them think twice? I'd like to think so. I'd like to think it makes the parents more aware, at least, yeah. and that they can then, you know, take that upon themselves and go, actually, what are you doing upstairs? Mm -hmm. Get down yeah. here now. What are you doing? Yeah. And ask mm -hmm. the questions. So even if it's not the youngsters themselves, it's the parents. Did and you get a response about that after the phone Yeah, call? very much so. I got a lot of people saying to me, you know, um, it, it is a worry for me as well. And, you know, I'm glad that Emma Dale have kind of said, you know, just have a think about what they might be doing in their bedrooms, mm. you know, because it's hard because teenagers, especially, they want their privacy and yeah. they're like, get, get, get out of my face, you know, what are you doing? And you've still got to have that parental thing, though, of going, no. I, the, the, I, and it's hard because, again, as we see with Chrissy, she tries to do that. She tries to put locks on his computer, but kids are really clever, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. And they? They find their way around it.